Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to talk about the budget resources. So first of all, I've got a, a project plan here, uh, software implementation. What you need to do is go onto the resource sheet and create your budget resources. So I'll call this first budget resource um, project allowance. Project allowance, spell it out. And I'll set it to a cost field and then I'll double click on it and make it into a budget field. So this is what you need to do, budget. Now, okay. Back to the Gantt chart. Now with the budget field, you can only allocate a budget field. If we go to resources, sign resources, project allowance, grayed out. None of these are available. You can't allocate that to any of these. The only field you can allocate a budget field to is a project summary task. Now, on the task tab, you have summary there, but that is not what this is about. That's the same as that. And you saw there, you can't allocate it. What you need to do is go to format and select this project summary task now once you click on that you'll notice that now this is active i can assign it like that so i've assigned the resource now if i close that and go to um, task usage what you have there is the project allowance field and what i need to do is insert a column so i can put some figures in there so if I go budget, budget cost field, that one comes up with zero. So if I put 10,000 in there, so that's the um, budget we've got for this project. And then if I go back to my Gantt chart, now I've sorted that out. Now, if I change this over to this table over to the cost table, because I want to do something here. I can't see that there at the moment, but I can add that column. So budget cost. So there's your 10,000 cost. Now that's a summary of the whole project. So what you've got underneath is all these tasks here. And you can actually create a column, which I will do, a cost column, and have a, a budget, sort of mini budget for each of these. And then I'm going to create a formula to work out how much left I've got. So this, let's go into custom fields, custom fields, and I need cost, cost. So cost one, I'm going to rename as task allowance, task allowance, and two, I'm going to rename that as um, money remaining or money left. No, I won't call it, I'll call it balance. I think I can use balance. So the balance is going to be a formula field that's going to look at the task allowance. So formula. So it's going to be cost, actual cost, so the actual spend, minus field cost custom cost, whatever that is there, cost once, cost one. So actual cost minus task allowance, spelt wrong, terrible. Okay, okay, um, just rename that, might have to change that. MCE, let's just go back to the formula. On this one, just to double check that. Yeah, cost one's okay. Okay, so now I need to insert the cost columns. So cost one, which is task allowance, and then just move that over a bit, and then cost two, which is balance. So 
you've got it's not spent anything there have I so let's say you had two thousand pound for that task you've gone over balances minus 70 so this field's the wrong way around isn't it so let's go back into this custom fields so I need to change that the other way around so it needs to be cost one minus actual so cost one I did that on purpose custom cost so I could show you how to do it twice cost one minus actual cost okay okay then we've got a a minus figure there because you didn't have any budget so these figures you put in here cannot exceed the budget cost at the top there so let's say you had two thousand um, pound for this field uh, so you're within budget on both of those and on this one let's say you had five hundred pound and then five hundred pound and then two thousand two thousand Oops, 2,000 and then 1,000 so that <clears throat> should add up to 10,000 you haven't got any they're, they're milestones at the bottom in fact one of these is a milestone actually so I've put mm, complete so that wouldn't be on there so just delete that put that to a thousand okay so now these are just custom fields and you can do as many of these as you want but that was the, the budget cost field. And remember, I went into resources, added a field cost, and then I set it to budget. Now, you could also do one for work, and that would be hours. So if you had that, it would sit up here, and you would be putting hours in as opposed to cost in. But that's a budget field, and that has to go on the project summary task which you get from the format menu at the top there project summary task and then these custom fields you can play around with and get them wrong like I did as much as you like but that's all I wanted to show you in this little session these budget costs get asked that quite a lot how does that work it's quite confusing if you don't understand that you have to do it on this sort of task otherwise it doesn't work but that's the end of this session hopefully you enjoyed that and I'll see you on the next one